Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna play on a barb. We're gonna do a zero to hero with everything the squire has to offer. Squire is a free uh, for all basically base gear that will just let you use, uh, you know, free stuff that um, you wouldn't need to care too much in case if you lose because you might as well just come back and use it again. After you complete a decent amount of tasks, after you increase your reputation, the amount of stuff you will be using that you could be using is going to increase. So in today's video, well, this is what we're going to play with. First thing first, we're going to throw a Felon Axe. And pretty much we're going to use uh, the pods, meds. As for the rest, um, you will have ability to access to stuff that will um, give you dexterity and this is what we're going to pick loose trousers adventure boots um everything free once again so for anyone who's going to complain that this is not a zero to hero this is a zero to hero because none of this have no value you cannot sell this you cannot get anything out of this and basically the amount of um stats that this gear offer is absolute minimal it's if anything it only slows me down but um i'm gonna use it as a form of advantage that i'm gonna get in this my zero to hero run so pretty much i feel like this is it two dexterity on leather gloves one agility on loose trousers and two dexterity on my adventure boots this is what we're gonna have i don't want to pick anything else because everything else is gonna slow me down way too much and that's definitely not something i want to do so this is what we're gonna have so pretty much for the perk and uh, my build section, we're gonna play with the combination of uh, Rage with the Savage, Robust, Two-Hander, Crush, Potion Shocker. We take away the Two-Hander, we're gonna use Axe Specialization instead. And basically because, because we're gonna play with the Felon Axe. If you wanna make your Felon Axe stronger, you might as well remove Crush and use the Savage. Your damage will drastically increase and you will, will become pretty strong. So pretty much all the gold that we're gonna get from the raid we're gonna spend on the market to buy better stuff. So no matter what we get we're gonna pretty much reinvest the whole gold in the gear that um, you know that will further down progress until we hit that zero to hero mark. Pretty much this challenge will stop the moment I acquire a gear set or the moment I die and basically um, that's where it's gonna end up. So once again, Felon Axe, great quality. Leather Gloves, great quality. Loose Trousers, great quality. Adventure Boots, white quality. If uh, this is not something that you consider as a zero to hero... <laughs> okay, well anyway, basically, let's wait out for the Goblin Caves and um, let's hop directly in. Because this is the map that I absolutely love playing. Well, the, we got the Goblin Caves, I might as well prepare one of the stashes. I could free up some space right here in the first slot so that I will be able to actually um, have some space for the um, challenge. So yeah, oh boy, this is gonna be fucking pain in the ass. I hate sorting my stash, but it is what it is. I think this is gonna be the right thing to do if I quickly just sort out the stuff. And it's also gonna help me a lot to track down the progress all right so pretty much we have a full tab so that we will be able to track how much we ended up getting at the end of the session pretty much this is the place where we will stack while or all our gold in order to track this down we're gonna use um a couple of gold coin bags empty gold coin bags so that we don't lose any gold that's basically this is where we're gonna store our gold for the uh, um, upcoming zero to hero run. Usually when you have gold coin bags, basically this is where the gold is going to go. Because I have too many gold coin bags everywhere, if I don't have one of these, the um, usual gold that would supposed to go in your inventory would go in one of the bags. So this is why I'm gonna use the gold coin bags as a storage. So yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, there's one thing that I was thinking is to straight up start in the high roller without a second thought. But um, is this a good idea? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But uh, let's test it out. Let's go in. Hopefully we don't get clapped. Pretty much we're starting with the Grey Felon Axe like I already mentioned. This is what we're starting with. This is what we're going to do. And this is where we're going to go. Ideally, ideally we get to clap someone and uh, hopefully we do well. 
Um, there is one build in particular that could be extremely effective and that is a combination of Rage and Achilles Strike. This combination would be extremely effective against uh, Warlocks, Wizards and um, basically we could do that but I would still play with Rage and Savage because this is what I kind of like to mess around with. I'm not gonna use Savage because I'm gonna use Crush. Crush gonna help me a lot too. The hard crush is going to contribute a lot into the zero to hero run. All right, let's go. Let's do this, and hopefully we will do well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally in the first big threat that we're gonna encounter is the fucking goblin mage, evil fucking mob, big threat. Gotta be really careful. And so yeah, we don't want to get clapped way too fast, but we do clap pretty fast ourselves because the barb is a felon axe do a lot of damage especially if you have the combination of uh, axe with the um, savage we removed the potion charger in the very last moment so that we will focus mainly on doing damage also i slightly change my skills and it's a uh, rage plus achilles instead of the savage um because I think, I think it would be far superior to use the Rage and Achilles if you are doing zero to hero. Your main goal is to catch up to someone and not let them get away. And since when you start out, you're gonna get the Francesca Axe, you will be able to slow, um, squish your target down and then catch up while having the um, Rage. By the way, I just found the um, um, Riveted Gloves. Reader Gloves is definitely something that you want to pick up, as for now we're just gonna break everything. By the way, this is one of the best places to start out your Zero to Hero, as this place has a lot of cheese to offer. All the boxes right here is definitely something you're looking for. Even though I just acquired the Green Battle Axe, don't get me wrong, I still prefer Felon Axe of a great quality, because if you... If you land the combination of attacks with the Fallen Axe, it's just gonna feel freaking great. But uh, let's say if I encounter someone here, I might as well switch up to Battle Axe, but it all depends. Let's say against some slow attack animations like maybe Dry or a Spear. I probably would stick with Battle Axe, but um, against um, some targets like a Rogue, I probably will stick with the Fallen Axe. I know it's just self-preference and something that I figured that might work better in the long run. But um, you never know what we're gonna encounter. And by the way, we just acquired the purple chaperon and it's actually pretty good. I'm not sure how much it's gonna go for, but hopefully maybe a couple hundred gold. Because that's that really what we're gonna aim for. Ideally, ideally, I get around 500 gold from the first uh, raid and um, basically... I feel like we could call it um, a zero to hero complete once we get around like two and a half, three thousand gold, because that's gonna be the amount that you will be able to acquire a really good kid with. And basically, this is what we're gonna do. Just we're gonna play for a couple of games. The main focus to hit around two and a half grands, and that's basically what we're gonna do. Also. We're gonna use market to sell stuff, so yeah, you do need a uh, marketplace for this challenge that I'm doing. Fuck! It's okay, there is a bunch of shrines, so we might as well use one right here. Well, nothing crazy here, but I'm still gonna open up chests and boxes. We have one shrine extremely freaking close, like super close, and we're gonna go and use it right now. We have one to our left, one to our right. The one to our right is guarded by a bunch of mobs, so we do need to be careful. The evil mage does shred, especially if it's a nightmare version. This one, on the other hand, is a piece of cake, so it shouldn't really possess much of a threat. A couple of hits, all it's gonna take to clear up the mobs, and that's exactly what we're doing. Heal of Shrine, we're back to full HP, we're good to go. Our goal is to acquire as much resources from this game alone. If we don't encounter any PvP, that's okay, but ideally, if we encounter someone and who will make a really good kill, well, that's gonna be it. We're gonna finish our zero to hero right there and then, because, well, our chances to kill someone geared is like 
minimal. Like, they're so freaking low that uh, I don't believe I will be able to get anyone. But um, the easiest way to acquire the stuff is by breaking boxes and clearing mobs. And that's the part of the stuff that you would need to do when you're gonna start out. This is gonna be more or less of a zero to hero for beginners um, who already achieved something like a bunch of levels and they need some form of guidement. And this is like a sort of guidement that I could provide by um, showing you my usual routine in case if I'd be doing a zero to hero. It's probably one of the most enjoyable part of the content and stuff you could do, especially if you acquired already way too much and you want to spice up your gameplay with uh, some content. Zero to Hero is something that I really enjoy doing and this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, okay, so I heard something down, but I'm not exactly sure whether or not I heard steps and um, that could be it, but um, there could be players. In the pre-lobby, I inspected a lot of people and uh, I do gotta be a little bit careful because all I have is Felon Axe, but I already got a big uh, bucket on my head, which offers a little bit of agility and dexterity. Nightmare Skeleton is definitely something you don't want to mess around with. Make sure you don't get hit by that, because that's gonna decapitate you and um, half your health in a half, especially if you get hit. Got hit as in a head, bro, that could literally eliminate you in one shot, so we do need to be a little bit careful. We have another Skeleton behind the barrels, and we'd have to deal with that bullshit once again. Battle Axe comes in handy, and the red one doesn't do double attack. I like the... Uh, black one so we gotta be a little bit careful once again i heard some noise i'm not sure what that is like some fucking squeaky noise and it's just what the fuck is this shit we have a trend here and we have a skeleton so i assume we have a druid somewhere here but the question is where the fuck the thing is oh we have a red pot i do want to take the red pot by the way i might as well throw something all right, we get back to the stairs. We do need to clear some mobs out in case if there's actually a druid. If the druid is geared, oh boy, we're gonna definitely have a chance. But the druid who can throw everything at you is gonna possess a lot of threat. Our best bet would be to win against a druid if that's a druid. If he will try to commit to a fight. If the druid will decide to use his bear form and other bullshit, chances are we win probably gonna be very low because we don't have iron will and each and every hit will push us away. We're gonna go down directly and close the door right behind. We don't want to get hit, so that's why we're gonna look down from time to time. I see a transformation and I see a rat, so maybe if we get a chance to kill the rat, that would be nice. The guy dodged. Not cool, not cool, brother. Okay, we got a fucking druid. He almost won't tap me. Gotta stay on him. One shot. Two shots. He's probably one HP from dying. And I'm... Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. Alright, we got a guy, but um, he has a cape. Hopefully he's geared, but I don't think he is. Because, well, I don't think I landed a single headshot there. Maybe I did, but... um. It took actually quite a lot of hits, because as a guy with a battle axe and a savage, you are supposed to do a lot of damage, and I don't think I really did, because he ended up dying to a fucking trap. He did an absolute massive tragic mistake by fucking pulling his book out when I was literally on him, had my Achilles. I had to wait out a little bit. Holy fucking shit, yo. <laughs> Sorry. Um... I guess this is it, guys. The fucking Zero to Hero is over. This is like 3,000 gold right here in my stash, more or less. I'm gonna sell all of this. For people who are gonna say, Oh, bro, this is, doesn't cost 3,000 gold. I'm gonna sell everything piece by piece. And I'm gonna showcase you that uh, how I'm gonna acquire gold. I do believe there probably could be 3,500, but there is at least 2,500. Wait a second. There's... Mmm, they're close to 4,000 gold, by the way. There's close to 4,000. And if I sell everything I have, there's gonna be like 4,000 plus gold. But if I sell everything that I have here, there's probably like at least two and a half, three thousand. 3,000. This is at least what my merchant inside of me tells me. That's just like a little egg, you know what I mean? Because uh, it's like, you know, it's 
spider sense. <laughs> like, that's my merchant sense inside of me telling me so that I have at least two and a half grand and probably an additional another thousand on me equipped. We're gonna get away, in, I mean, we're gonna get back, we're gonna extract. Hopefully I will still get to fuck with someone and take a little bit more cheese, but um, we did already pretty well, you know what I mean? But listen, if we get to get a little bit more, that'd be absolutely sick. But yeah, we're kind of cooking, we're kind of cooking, holy shit, like that's way more than I would expect to get from the first game. That's a little too much, I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, well... Holy fuck, I did not expect that. Jeez. Uh, we might as well actually take strike, honestly, because um, I don't think there's going to be anyone around. And, um, oh well, it's really, it really is. I'm going to check troll real quick. Hopefully we can tell someone. What the? F we have another guy here. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> That's another, like, 400 gold right there, by the way. Maybe 300. We'll got to check the market. The, those boosts is like another 300 gold, by the way, so... <laughs> oh my god, bro. Is that how it's supposed to be uh, your first zero to hero? I'm not sure, man. But, um... <laughs> uh, this is kind of scripted, I'm gonna be honest. This is kind of fucking scripted. Fucking paid actors. <laughs> Just lying on the floor. Oh, man. I don't know, man. We, we're probably good to go, man. We're probably good to go. Might as well just extract, sell everything on market. And I feel like that's just probably around 4,000 gold, I would say. With everything that I have, that's at least 4,000 gold. It's just gonna take some time to sell. 15-20 minutes, more or less. Let's check what the troll has to offer. Let's see if he's dead or not. Maybe we get to fight someone. Let's actually check it out. Alright, so probably have someone. Maybe not. Hmm. I would assume we have a chance that there is like a rat or some shit. Maybe a rogue. The rogue can't really sit in Invis for too long. Nobody dated the Cyclops, so. I honestly. I'm not sure if there is rat here, so I don't want to risk it. We already got a biscuit. And basically, um, let's just get out of here and let's go directly to the static. And basically, listen, we may have not got too much action, but at least we got what we came here for. A little zero to hero, quick way to get cheese. Right after we get out, hopefully we will, we're just gonna fucking work with market and sell everything best our abilities. We aim for 3000 gold and... Um, we aim for a better felon axe. So if I will be able to get a better felon axe, I feel like that could be a complete zero to zero. I think we definitely have enough for a felon axe, I'm telling you. <laughs> like, even if we look for a really good, epic quality felon axe, we're still gonna have plenty of gold. Because at the end of the day, spear costs money and all the cheese that we acquired, that we acquired is definitely gonna be something freaking good. I don't want to kill the Cyclops, because we don't have time. We're just going to take Static safely, in peace. Let's just get out and let's see how many people there is in the lobby left. I don't think there is that many, because I wasn't really able to inquire anyone. What the fuck is this shit? How many people there is in the game, bro? Yo, what are the fucking AP grinding? Holy cow, man. There is actually so many people and I somehow didn't find any of them. Well, I found two, huh? A dead corpse and the one guy. Oh, well. I mean, it is what it is. That's what's gonna be like sometimes. Listen, sometimes you're just gonna get raids like this, and this is actually part of the reason why I prefer playing in normals instead of the high roller when you're starting out on the zero to hero, because you're gonna get a lot more action. But anyway. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so pretty much this is what we have. We got a lot of purple stuff and we got a full solid freaking set, which is actually quite incredible. We're gonna drag out the gold coin back so that whatever we got will actually go into the coin back. Because if I don't do it, the gold gonna be spread across my inventory. Alright, so I genuinely think we got around 3000 gold here. Basically, this is my bet. And if that's the case, 
we're gonna sell everything on market and right after that if we achieve 3000 gold we're gonna try and buy the felon axe and pretty much if that that's gonna be it just simple as that you know it could be really freaking easy um so yeah i'm gonna list every single piece on market i'm gonna look and i'm gonna undercut anyone and basically i'm gonna put everything at more or less fair price so that the stuff is gonna get sold very fast i don't want to wait too much time and i don't want to keep you waiting and basically here we go we have a little straw head i think straw head is gonna get sold fast because druids could use it also could, the bards could use it very decent price spear spear goes next spear is always money i know that for a fact it literally never takes fucking any time to get you know them sold fucking around 350 gold we're just gonna intercut anyone and uh, straight up boom done chaperone i don't think it's gonna cost more than 100 gold but listen 100 bucks is 100 bucks <laughs> sorry my bad um it was a kind of um evil joke but anyway listen we move on from there uh, yeah, the chaperone, I don't think anyone's gonna fucking buy it, but, um, yeah, it's fucking buy chicks. Ah, uh, yeah, fuck it, 100 gold, 100 gold is 100 gold, uh, let's put it, on. it's fine. <laughs> Alright, adventure boots, I think adventure boots probably gonna be around 350-ish, heavy boots probably gonna be around another 300 gold. Mm, so, yeah. Everything kind of comes together, though. Let's see. Holy shit. Yo, that's money. That's money, yeah. 450. Somewhere around 450. Yeah, we just... We want to get our stuff sold pretty quick. So we're going to undercut everyone. All right, hopefully that will get sold. And, um... All right, Oaks Pendant. All right. Oaks Pendant. Let's check that on the market. Damn, that's actually really fucking good action, Max Hells. Possibly 400 gold. Wow! Sorry, <laughs> got a little too excited. Okay, yo. Hell yeah. We're gonna put it on market and um, we're gonna wait all out a little bit. Um, Let's check the Terry Club. Maybe another 400 gold? Let's see. Um, my merchant tells me that it's around 400 gold. Sheesh! Okay, it's pretty good. All right, once again, let's undercut everyone and um, let's get a little W. So yeah, we also have a ring of wisdom, and ring of wisdom usually gonna be around two hundred fifty gold. I gotta sell the pod because, uh, well, that's just money, and that's all. We don't wanna sleep on that. All right, seems like some of the stuff got sold. All right, so it's been like little under 20 minutes and um, pretty much we got straw, hat, spear, ox pendant, heavy boots, tear cloak sold. Seems like nobody was interested to buy the chaperone, but okay. All right, so let's drag this out. Hopefully the gold will go directly into the gold coin bags. Let's test this. Yup, gold coin bag, it goes. So pretty much in the first game we made a full kit and... Um, where the fuck is it? And almost 2000 gold. We also have the adventure boots with physical damage bonus and physical power. Let's try to put it on market as well. So that we'll make sure um, we got everything right and correct. Adventure boot, physical damage bonus, physical power. Damage, physical damage bonus and power. Probably not going to be too expensive. 388, holy fuck. That's actually pretty good. Um, Alright, let's put it at 350 because we want to get a quick sell. And let's put the Ring of Wisdom with one true. No, are you... No, 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 no. I accidentally click on them. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is more reasonable. Wait, really? 215 gold? Okay, let's put it at... Let's slow ball and put it at 214. Easy. And then Chris Dagger. Fuck it. You know? 50 gold is 50 gold? Haha. <laughs> um, sorry. Okay, additional weapon damage. 70 additional 70 bro fucking easy 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 okay so basically these are the three items that we still have for sale i'm gonna wait for 10 minutes i'll go like make a cup of tea or something hopefully this would get sold and uh, yeah i feel like 
All of this gonna get sold pretty quick because I undercut it. But I'm not sure exactly about the adventure boots. Like, per pretty much because these are the boots that offers the, you know, the damage bonus. Um, if they would be offering additional move speed, there would be a quick sale. I'm not sure why though the Chepard nobody wants to buy because the stat seems like, you know, something that a cleric would be interested in. But anyway, let's give it a shot and let's for a bit. Alright, so after waiting for a bit, got um, Ring of Wisdom Soul and Adventure Boots. Seems like nobody is interested in buying Priest Dagger, but that is okay. So pretty much what we're gonna do is, since I don't want this gold to get lost, I'll just drag another gold coin back. For convenience, for convenience. Because I don't want I don't want this gold to get sent God knows where, you know. And basically, this is the kit that we currently have. May not be the best kit, but there is one thing I could tell for sure, is that that's definitely gonna be enough gold to afford the felon axe that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna buy a felon axe yes this zero to hero process might actually be taking a while but uh it's one of the most efficient zero to hero runs you could ever do um just simple as that when you're looking for the right attributes you're looking for additional weapon damage and max health and if there is no additional weapon damage Look for max health bonus with the right attribute on the on your axe. The max roll I do believe is going to be 55, but I don't see any with 55, so maybe it's 54. We could spend right here 53 plus 4, but I want to get actually a good piece that's going to be really freaking good. Okay, so back to the stash. This is the what we have. We're going to get rid of these pretty much. All right, so we have 2,000 gold. We have a um, very decent gear set, pretty much. This necklace of peace that we have is actually quite freaking expensive. Like, the whole kit that we have is actually really damn freaking good. Um, we have agility, physical power, vigor, action. Pretty much we have all the right stats. And definitely, I feel like we kind of completed our zero to hero run. I would say this was our little W, the first game we got extremely lucky, I would say. We clapped a druid, we found a dead corpse, we sold everything in market and we acquired 2000 gold and probably another 2000 in gear. Anyway, this was our little tutorial on a zero to hero on a bark with an axe. I hope you enjoyed the video, it's Timo and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the dungeon, peace out.